Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying some new Pringles. These are Harvest Blends. So these are both uh, blended with sweet potato. I have the sea salt and the smoky barbecue. And mine are blended with multigrains. This one is the Farmhouse Cheddar and the Homestyle Ranch. I think these are were expensive. They were $2.39 a can at Meyer. I think that, I, I don't know how much a regular can of Pringles is, but that just seems like Probably a lot Probably about to that me. much. Two, <laughs> yo, you think this is, a, they were I the same? I, I wondered if these were uh, the same as a regular Pringle or, or more yeah. expensive because they're, they're uh, harvest blends. Because we um, remember back when they were like, you could get on sale for a dollar a can. <laughs> and Which it doesn't seem like ago. that was a long, it doesn't seem that That's long That's true, to it doesn't seem like that long But ago. I guess it was, yeah. uh, clearly. Um, so Pringles Harvest Blends, blended with sweet potato. This is sea salt. Uh, there are six servings in the can. 14 crisps are 150 calories, which is the regular, that's normal, normal uh, calories. They are manufactured uh, for Pringles in Jackson, Tennessee. Okay. And it really doesn't say what the harvest is. No. It really doesn't say what it is? No description, just blended with sweet potato. Uh, if you want to go into the ingredients, it says uh, de-germinated yellow corn flour, vegetable oil, uh, let's see, dried potatoes, sweet potato. So they have thrown a sweet potato into the regular mm -hmm. mix. Yes. So, uh, but I mean, there's no description on that. I know, it seems like they would try just, to sell it a little bit, doesn't it? Just sea salt. <laughs> like you gotta sell it a little bit. They are a little uh, like a different color, slightly. But if you're not saving on calories, why do you care? Yeah. Well, and you know, they don't even say what percentage of sweet potato it is. No, they're not. No. They're the, doing a poor job of advertising their product. Right, because it's like, well, what reason does anybody have? Let's say these are ex more expensive. Let's say they're only 50 cents a can more expensive. But then, why would you spend more if it's the same calories and they're not saying it has this percentage of sweet potato or it's supposed to be better for you in any way? Or if there's no benefit to it, right. then, then why even make these? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> what's they, the point? They do have a slightly different flavor. Than a, than a purely potato based sweet um, Pringle. Pringle, but it's not greatly different. I mean, no. it's a little different. It's not very salty though. No, I don't think so either. These are supposed to be sea salt. They're not a salty chip. Texture is basically the same. Mm -hmm. Like I said, the flavor is slightly different. The flavor is slightly different because a Pringle, you taste a Pringle. Yeah. The Pringle is different than any other potato. Potato paste. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so I do think the flavor is different, but um, I don't think there's anything wrong with that at all. I don't either. I would not know though if I were blindfolded that it, they made it with sweet potato. I would not yeah, know I that. I would have just thought, hmm, that's a little different. That's a I little different, yeah. But you might have thought instead of thinking it was uh, sweet potato because you're not going to think that. You might have thought, oh, this is like a Walmart brand or this is right, like a, a different, different brand, brand. Like a store brand. <laughs> but it still tastes like a potato chip. Just yeah. A, yeah, it's not, you would not know that's sweet potato. Yeah. Okay. And sea salt, they, I don't, I mean, that's just the regular. Mm -hmm. It's just regular. Yeah. Well, like I said, this not even as good a salt as the regular salt. <laughs> okay, I probably gave you too many of those. This is smoky barbecue. Same calories. And sweet potato. Hmm. It's a barbecue. Mm-hmm. I'm wondering if I had compared them, like had them right next to each other. Yeah, maybe. If you would have been able to tell a bigger difference, because right now, I just, you, you, it literally just tastes like barbecue, a barbecue chip. There's nothing wrong with it. I like it. It's on the sweeter side. There's a hint of smokiness there. Um, that's it. <laughs> nothing that's going to burn your mouth, though, or mm. anything like that. It's a very pleasant barbecue flavor. Yeah, they got some seasonings in there that remind you of barbecue sauce. That's about it. But as far as my memory goes, 
That reminds me a lot of the regular barbecue yeah. Pringles. Yeah, I don't notice any difference. Okay. This is the, uh, this is blended with multi-grains, and this is farmhouse cheddar, and it's the same calories. Well, the ingredient list is like twice as long. No, yeah. no. It's they, a little bit long. No, they put it in, uh, uh, they put it, uh, oh, contains 2% or less of salt black bean grits. Hmm. Have you ever heard of black bean grits? Mm -hmm. There's the ingredient. See, they put a new different language out here too. So that's your ingredients. Uh huh. So it's a little bit. No, it's about the same. It's the same. Okay, farmhouse cheddar. I used to eat the cheddar or Pringles all the time. We really like the cheddar Pringles. Yeah, those. Yeah. Well, they look different. They, they do have look different. Yeah, we're not used to them having the the little flecks in there. I still love that flavor. Mm -hmm. It is a slightly different texture though. Mm -hmm. Cause it tends to like come apart a little bit easier. Yes, it's more um, fibrous. Yeah, it's almost like a tortilla chip, but not quite. Mm -hmm. I agree. It feels more more fibrous in your mouth, like a, like a tortilla chip. There's more texture in there, but I, I'll absolutely love the flavor of that, that cheddar cheese. Mm -hmm. You really get that. It's yeah, a you nice really, flavor. You really don't taste the underlying chip in these. You get really strong ch cheese flavor, which has always been one of my favorite Pringles anyway, is the cheese. It's the cheese. Um, and But one of the things about Pringles is typically you always taste that underlying Pringles, that original Pringles flavor. These, you're right. You really don't get that mm -hmm. with these. You get it, you're getting the cheese. I like those quite a bit. And is the chick calories the same? Yeah, the same. Same calories on all of these. That's mm -hmm. what I'm saying. I don't... Maybe they're less fat or... I don't know. I, I don't no know clue. the reason. What what was the reason they, they created these? Yeah. I don't know. Well, like I said, poor job of advertising because they don't even mention it. They put the picture on here. What's funny is they put the picture on here twice. Like the label. They always do that. I know, but in that one section, they could have, instead of putting a picture on there, they could have said what, what was the deal. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. like, yeah. Okay, so now these are the Homestyle Ranch. That tastes like something you put on a salad. It's got some zing to it, doesn't it? Mm hmm That's, yeah. Yeah, that, that reminds me of a salad dressing. Mm hmm Now that one seemed to be pastier. I also got some onion out of that. Mm hmm yeah, the spices are nice, mm -hmm. but the texture seems just a little bit like thicker. The texture, it, I think, is about the same as you're getting in the cheddar. It's just yeah. that the flavor is different. It was the way I chewed it. I do like the texture of the multi grains. Just know that it it does lean more like a tortilla chip than like a potato chip. Um, it tends to gum up a little bit more though. Yes, it does. Like it clumps up in your teeth a little bit more. It does. <laughs> that doesn't make it sound very sexy. <laughs> but it's just how it is. But it is, yeah, yeah. It, uh, yeah, it's. Because the sweet potato ones, you know, you're chewing them and they're just crunchy and you chew them and you swallow them. Like a regular chip. Yeah, the multigrain ones have really gotten stuck in my teeth and they're these, not a little bit either, it's like these huge globs stuck in my teeth. Yeah. No, I, I no, you're, no you're telling the truth, and I think you should. I, I love, it. my favorite flavor is actually the cheddar. Mine is too, the farmhouse cheddar. Mm. I, I would go for that. I would buy that all the time. Um, but like I said, unless I knew what the benefits were. Then why would you buy these over a regular? Yeah, what, yeah, I mean, what? There's no benefit. Yeah, when, when Pringles, have anybody seen an ad for these things? Because I haven't. I haven't mm. seen any ads whatsoever. I, I don't see commercials for things. Um, what are they saying? Are they saying they're supposed to be healthier? Or is that, I mean, what's the reason? What's that? I mean, what, what's the point? Because it doesn't seem like uh, there's, I, I have no idea why they went to the trouble. I know. And, um, Even looking at these two side by side, they're pretty much the same. Although this one has more sodium in it, the format cheddar has. This has 210 milligrams. This has 220, but these this one has 160. But that could be just because of the flavor, too. Because the flavor, because it's barbecue. But most of the other stuff I see is pretty much the What about the sea the salt one? Because that sea salt one, it's just a regular chip. They should have called that original. Yeah, sodium is only 180. There's more sodium in the uh, 
Yeah. Probably that one. Yeah, or is 210. 210. I'm telling you, it's just regular. It's a regular But dough. as far as fat goes, saturated fat, it's all the same. Total sugars is exactly the same. Yeah, protein's the same. I, I don't know. Who knows? I don't know. Yeah, just don't know. Just trying to... I would just love to know the reason why they've come out with these. and mm -hmm. Because uh, when they do this, you're thinking... Why are these gonna last longer than just regular Pringles? Why? They have a ton of Pringles. Yeah. Why did the company go to the, the trouble to to make all these labels and do all this funny thing? And you know, I just don't see the reason for it. But if you do buy them, the cheddar we both like that the best. Okay, pick your sack up. Probably barbecue. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go for the the Homestyle Ranch. I like the zing of the ranch, but it really clumped up. Uh huh. <laughs> uh, but then I'm gonna pick the barbecue. I'll pick the barbecue next, yeah. um, and then I wouldn't even buy the sea salt again. Just buy regular Pringles. Yeah, they uh, don't have a lot of salt in them. No, not at all. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed the video. If you can shed some light, help us out, keep us from scratching our heads, keep us awake at night wondering why. I they mean, made we this. could Google it. But we you know, could. You know, but why would, why would do we do that when you're here? Listen, I get questions all the time from people that could have been Googled, <laughs> and they ask me instead. So it's okay. Now we're coming to you. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.